All right, before we get started, make sure you download the free accompanying PDF with this. There's no strings attached. It's in the description. Just check it out, download it, and it'll give you transcriptions of everything we're going to do. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is part three in the Polyrhythm series. In this episode, we're going to talk about the polyrhythms two over five and two over seven. As before, if you don't really understand what both of the numbers, like the top and the bottom number, mean in a polyrhythm, check back to video one in this series. It explains it pretty well back there, then come back to this one. Now let's check out two over five, and we're gonna move the two around within the meter. But as with some of the other polyrhythms that we've talked about, we can use a different sticking to figure out where our note placement is gonna be. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna use right, left, right, right, left. Okay, now you've seen that, so let's take it, we'll get rid of the extra notes, and we're gonna move the two around. All right, now that you've seen that, let's do the exact same thing with two over seven. This time, the sticking we're gonna to use to demonstrate with is gonna be right, left, left, right, right, left, left. The coolest thing that I find personally within these rhythms is that they imply two equally spaced notes over a larger phrasing, which means we can imply a backbeat or even just a typical groove within these in a strange rhythmic structure. It's very cool for making different grooves within odd time signatures. All right, let's explore a basic possibility of making a groove from this two over five polyrhythmic phrasing. Now that we have an idea of what that sounds like, let's embellish. All right, now let's try something a little more challenging. Let's take the two and we're gonna put it in placement four within the two over five. And let's take that into a more of a breakbeat kind of situation. We're also gonna base a fill off the same kind of phrasing, but it's gonna be a little bit more embellished. Cool, let's try some more fills. Here's, a, here's one that's not so bad, it's just individual notes. Cool, let's fill those in with some doubles. All right, let's ramp the tempo up. Try something a little crazier. All right, moving along. Let's take a look at two over seven. Now we're gonna skip the basic examples of the grooves and we're just gonna skip right to the double bass and we're gonna be moving that two or to all the possible positions within it. All right, let's try another linear breakbeat idea. This time we're gonna use the two, placement number five.
Cool, so now let's take a groove and we're gonna use placement number six for the two. Let's end it up with a fill. Alright, so I hope this gave you guys some insight in how to use these polyrhythms as placement ideas within your grooves, your fills, whatever you want to do. We just kind of scratched the surface with this. This is just some stuff that I came up with off the top of my head today. So you guys can do whatever you want with it and I hope you do. Make something cool, post some video responses, I'd love to see it. So as always, keep tuning in, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.